Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, it's Friday the 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 fifth of, of February, and it's uh, it, it's my pleasure to bring to you this this morning's devotion. And um, just last night, I was thinking about what what I might share on this morning, and um, at the moment in our in our right our reading plan, we're we're, we're looking at, at Job as well as um, Romans, and and really. I was just thinking about the snow this week and and how it, it's been so disruptive to our lives and uh certainly for me it stopped me in my in my plans i was on a on a two day training course that started on on monday and tuesday was the obviously the second day and and i, I got up and i realized i wasn't going to be going anywhere quickly and 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 that was really unexpected um, and kind of, I had to kind of send messages to my work and send photographs explaining why I couldn't make the the, the course. And it got me thinking just how how you know sometimes our, our our best laid plans can be disrupted so so quickly. And then we have this uh, we have this story of Job that that to me when when you read the book of Job it, it it's it's an explosive um, story, really, and, and it and it seems to unravel pretty quickly for for Job. And and we see in Job a man whose life was disrupted, and and God allowed Satan to disrupt his life and to 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 prove his faithfulness. And uh, and we we really see what a man Job was. Uh, if you know anything of the story of Job, uh, Halley's Bible Handbook says that he was the, he was a, his name was 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 Jobab, and he was the second king of Edom. Um, all the way back then, and he he was a famous man in that part of the world. He everybody body would have known of his fame. And yet, as we as we read this week in in one day. Uh, he was crushed with a number of overwhelming calamities in in his life, and we we see that his vast herd of of camels were were stolen, and those that tended to his vast herd of camels were murdered by the Chaldeans, and then at the same time, as if that wasn't bad enough, at the same time simultaneously, his vast herds of oxen were being stolen and and again that those that tended the oxen murdered by the sabians and at the same time <laughs> thirdly his seven thousand sheep uh, destroyed by a storm and and again those servants that worked for job tending the sheep killed by the storm and if that wasn't enough at the same time his family his ten children all at once killed by a, a tornado as, the, as they ate together in, in a house. And then if that wasn't enough, uh, he was afflicted with, with horrendous diseases. Um, people believe that it was it, forms of leprosy and, and even elephantitis. And really we have this, 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 this kind of we have this age-old conundrum, don't we, of the suffering, human suffering that 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 plagues all of our minds, and and just as I was considering all of that and thinking, wow, that you know that that is is certainly a, a a story to read. I got to reading Halley's Bible Handbook and understanding a little more the subject of the book and I just wanted to share with you some of his words that that kind of bring clarity to us and, and as we start reading the book of Job perhaps these words might be helpful to you they certainly were helpful to me as I read them this week so we it, Halley says the subject of the book uh, and the problem of human suffering and very early in history men began to be troubled over the awful inequalities and injustices of life and how a good God 
could make a world like this where there is so much suffering and so much of the suffering seems to fall on those who least deserve it and i'm sure like me you've had those questions how could a, a you know a god that loves loves us allow things like things to happen in the world and so Halley goes on to say I, I don't know that we understand the problem one bit better than they did in Job's day uh, and then he says we, 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 we come into life having nothing whatsoever to do with bringing ourselves here we just were born and we grow up and we open our eyes and we look around and we're just a great big question mark what's it all about and the older we grow and the more we see of the world's inequalities and injustices the bigger grows the question mark how a good god could make a world like this and then we get the the the, the crux of of Halley's point he says this he says even though we may not understand the problem any better than they did in job's day we have more reason to be reconciled to it because in the meantime, God himself came, came down here to earth. And in the person of Jesus, became a partaker with us uh, of our suffering. And the, the story of Jesus, the world's most righteous man and the world's greatest sufferer, is an illustration of God's suffering with his creation. And we ought not to have any difficulty in believing it is all for some good, good purpose, even though we cannot now understand and get this. One day, when all is come to fruition, we shall never cease our hallelujahs of praise to God for giving us such an, an existence. So, uh, this morning, just really the, 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 the message in this devotion is just um, uh, is one of hope in in a world that that often seems so hopeless. Uh, be thankful this morning that that you your life is in Christ, hopefully, <laughs> and that and that you belong to to God to God's family. And uh, I pray that you would just find real courage and, and comfort and strength. In, in knowing that, that God knows all about us. He knows about our lives and, and, and we should be encouraged this morning and understand that one day when all this comes to fruition we shall never cease our hallelujah of praise to God for being given such an existence as this. You know, I bought this book. Um, I think I bought it over in York at some point. And it still has the price in the in the front, and it says four pounds ninety five. And such a bargain, and uh, such a helpful handbook uh, to help me comprehend God's word. Well, God bless you guys, and have a great day, uh, and enjoy the weekend as as we as we approach it. God bless you.